So uh, what you got here, honey? Uh, we've got two pounds of mussels, local mussels. Uh, Maine is a great state for these. Uh, they're plentiful, and uh, these came from Bang Island mussels. But you can get them anywhere that's convenient for you. We just like to use theirs because they're good quality. All right, so what are you going to do with them? Start out with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and we're going to throw in about a cup of chopped shallots, or about one inch pieces, uh, like onions, only a little more delicate. Uh, about a cup of chopped red bell pepper and half inch pieces. Yum. And a cup of uh, chorizo. Uh, chorizo. Chorizo, so Spanish and Portuguese type sausage. Kind of spicy, it's a little like pepperoni uh, in our world, but we like it, it's got a great flavor. Yeah, and it's actually, it's made with a lot of paprika, which lends a nice oh, color yeah. to the sauce, actually. Right. Uh, I've got three or four cloves of uh, crushed and coarsely chopped garlic. We're going to throw all that stuff in there and uh, about a half a teaspoon of salt. You can, of course, do that according to taste. And I'm over here cutting up tomatoes out of our garden. Uh, if you're like us, we've got tomatoes coming out of our ears and they're all different colors. So I've been cutting up just a few of these. We'll end up tossing those in as well. You know, if you don't have tomatoes that you want to use fresh, a can of diced tomatoes would work really nicely. We do that sometimes in the winter if we've gone through all of our fresh tomatoes that we've put up, per se. So it'll end up being probably probably a half cup, I'd say, of, of either cut or diced tomatoes. Yeah, all right. that sounds, those look great. There you go. All right. Oh, I lost one. So we'll just saute these up until the, uh, the shallots are probably the critical item, until they start getting tender and a little bit translucent. And if you don't have shallots, you can always use onions. That works fine. And if you don't like red peppers, don't put those in. I mean, the thing about mussels is you can do anything you want. But really, you can do onions, garlic, and white wine. Very basic, very classic. Um, and you might think of that as more of sort of a French style preparation. This is a bit more of sort of a Portuguese or Mediterranean style. So. So this is cooked down for a few minutes and the uh, shallots are getting nice and translucent. Things are getting soft. It's going to cook for another 10 minutes with the mussels, so uh, we don't want to overcook them now. So, oh yeah, that's a good point. So we'll right. put in uh, about a cup or so of white wine and uh, we're actually using a Portuguese wine, a vino verde, uh, kind of consistent with the Spanish slash Portuguese idea of the um, this version of the mussels. Of the mussels, right. right. And so these guys are just going in here, just like that. They've been all rich stuff. Uh, I'm going to crank the heat up on that, bring it back to a boil, and uh, usually about eight to ten minutes until those guys are mostly opened up. Yay, I can't wait. And these are looking done. Yay, that's quick. Yeah, so see these guys are opened up. That's a good thing. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing. So we're going to. Turn off the heat on that. Um, All right, so over here. Some, yeah, chop, fresh parsley is, uh, in my mind, is essential. Can I throw it in? Do it. Woohoo! Oh, it looks so festive and pretty. Do you need all of this? Uh, yeah, throw it right in there. Okay. All right. And then I've got crusty bread that Jonathan made last week, maybe. Um, this bread is uh, very hearty, and you definitely want some of that to dip in the broth if you're a bread eater. All right, so you're going to serve some mussels up. Yep. I've got us a slice of bread. You can use a fork, of course, for your mussels because they're going to be kind of hot. But the way that uh, a lot of people do it is they use a mussel shell for the mussels. For scooping? Yeah, for scooping. Exactly. So you pull your first mussel out. Look at those big, plump babies. Yum. Mm. Now I've got a mussel shell, and you use the mussel shell for scooping out the other mussels. It's not working very well. I'm just going in with my hands. This is amazing. Yeah, those are good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So good. They're bright and lemony almost. There's no lemon. Oh, it's the wine. It's the wine. And um, the chorizo lends a nice flavor. And quick and easy. Yeah. yeah. So good. Literally, this was done in 10 minutes. It's a 10 minute dinner. You've got some nice bread. Do you want to soak up some juice? I do. Okay, let's have at it. It's for you. A little one for me. I don't need lots of bread, so it's small. Yum, yum. Mm. This, of course, would make me want to eat lots of bread. It would. Oh my gosh, honey, these are amazing. It took under 10 minutes, and you can make mussels fresh at home. It's a piece of cake.
give it a shot. So good. Thanks for joining us.